Hello, it's Phil Cunningham here of Oakleaf Software, and I wanted to do a short film to show you a new feature that's coming into Calidus, which will hopefully speed up the input of rooms from electronic drawings. Now, in the past, the, the, the simple way of doing this was to go around and click on each corner, which was not only a bit laborious, but it's also you know, prone to inaccuracies because it's, it's, it's not always easy to, to get the cursor right into the corner. So we've introduced a new feature and you go to the layout and it's called Snap to Background Walls. And I'll just quickly show you and then run through a couple of the um, parameters that you might need to, to fiddle around with to get this to work. But in principle, what happens is if we zoom in here and just keep that, we're going to digitize that room. If you're going to the corners, as I say, it's quite difficult to, to determine exactly where the corner is. But when you start collecting points with snap to background walls on, when you turn that on, you'll see that the, the system is looking into the uh, background drawing and finding the line, which we'll, we'll assume is going to be a wall, but it just finds a line which is closest to the mouse. Now, when you, as you move around, that will change, but as you, if you click, that wall is collected. And then when you move around to another wall, and you become closer to another wall, you'll see that it manages to construct or project this line, the bottom line, back to the left and the left wall down, and it finds the intersection point. So I click again, and that point is recorded, and then we move on to this line. Now, again, you can see that if, if we go around here, it's, it's collecting, obviously, things that you don't really want. What you want is this wall to connect up to that wall on the right. So you move the mouse over until it's closest to that wall on the right. And you see that wall is projected down and the bottom one is projected to the right. And we've got the two bottom corners now. Go up to the top and find one of these walls. You could either come off that wall or the back wall. It is entirely up to you how this works. Go through there. And then this wall is projected right the way across. We don't have to collect any of this, these points unless you want to. Bring the mouse back to really close to the start point and you'll see that it turns grey. Oops, I'll just get that a bit more. Get it to turn grey, click, and that room is now entered. Now, there's a couple of things to notice about this. First of all, I, I ignored the doorway entirely and I'll show you why in a minute. But the first thing to recognize is that the the accuracy of the corners is within a, a pixel of the actual drawing and i think on this drawing the, the a pixel represents about a millimeter um, which is obviously way more accurate than this drawing is going to be to the final building so um, you've got about as accurate as you can get from here um, just by clicking on these walls. And the other thing you'll notice is if I go to this, um, I'll, I'll do the next room. If you go in here, you don't have to be accurate at all. You can just move the mouse until it picks the wall that you want. And that's it done. So it's a lot quicker. And the accuracy is coming from, you know, the projection of these lines back to, you know, some intersection point. It's not down to your accuracy. So you you highlight, get Calidus to um, highlight the wall, and then the wall is projected back to find the corner. Again, uh, angled walls shouldn't be any of a problem. So I'm just moving around until the wall that I want is highlighted. And that's it done. And that's all there is to it, really. It's um, it's just a different way of doing it. If you if you don't like it for some reason, or it doesn't work for some reason, you can always go back to the old way of doing things. And also, one other thing you can do is if you um, find that it's not picking the wall that you want, you can just hold the Shift key down and just enter a point however you want, and then carry on with the wall snapping. So. If you get to a curve or something like that, you can just hold down the shift key and enter the points that you want. But in general, if you're looking at um, fairly regular office rooms with fairly straight walls, this should work without too much trouble. Again, 
what you can do with this is where you've got features in the room you can just skip over them so all of this stuff here going around here is ignored because you're just clicking on the parts that you want as i say that's pretty much all there is to it now i mentioned earlier about doors and the reason why i didn't put them in is because uh, we've updated the door feature and when you click on doors now let's just make that three foot so we put in three foot door width and the drop back distance is the amount that the carpet will go into the doorway but that will be obvious in a minute when i show you so i select that lot now as i'm moving around not much is happening but when i move the mouse inside a room you can see a little green bar at a, uh, pops up and that locks to again finds the nearest wall and it locks to it and then when you move the mouse near the doorway click and you can see that you can see that it's dropped a doorway in there and it's put a um, what I call a drop back in there so that it's, it's put material into the doorway so again if we go along here you can just go along here and the actual position of the doorways is often not critical it's just a case of putting one in there so the principle is is when you're digitizing the rooms just ignore the walls altogether sorry not the walls sorry ignore the doors altogether and uh, just put the put the, the room shapes in and then go back afterwards and put in the doorways and that should speed things up considerably now a couple of things to uh, bear in mind in the past when you import a pdf drawing it's generally we recommend you just brought them in as black and white because you were going to have to do all the work yourself um, for this to to work more effectively it's better to import the drawing as a gray scale so if i attach a background drawing here and let's just um, bring in this one here which is the one i was just using and so bring it in as the gray scale okay don't bother with color um, and don't bother with black and white so bring that in and what that does is it gives the program a bit more chance because it can determine the sort of blacks tend to be walls and greys tend to be all of this hatching business in the middle so because you bring it in as a grayscale we can we can ignore all the all the hatching across if you bring it in as black and white you you all of that will it'll that'll be black and it'll take those as lines and it'll get more confusing now you may find in fact you will find that some drawings are just too busy they have too much stuff going on and to be honest if you've got a nice clean drawing like this it should work very well if you're starting to find that drawings a draw a particular drawing isn't working then i would suggest that you turn off the wall snapping and just uh, go with the original way of doing things um, i'll just finish off with just showing you the um, this room here is, is quite a good example where you've got an awful lot going on inside the room but if you just pick the walls relatively carefully well, I'm going around at a fair old pace here you see when you get to these uh, toilets at the back here all you need to do is just pick one wall Oops. and then then all you need is this bottom wall and take it back to there and that's it so by picking the walls correctly you can skip around all of this stuff inside the room and just hit the walls that you want so uh, one final caveat is that the computer is not it's not recognizing walls as such it's just recognizing lines that are within the drawing so it's not trying to predict what the room is it's not making any decisions for you um, you're making the decisions about which walls are going to be included and all that Calidus is doing is, saying, is finding the walls for you or finding a line for you that you select as the wall and it will then project back and get the corner very accurately but the the the, the bottom line of that is that the room that's collected it is your is still your responsibility to make sure that the shape that's collected is is representative of the room that you want Calidus is not making decisions about what the room is you are it's just helping you to do that so as long as you um, understand that the 
uh, the wall snapping is just a tool to help you. It's not finding rooms or making any decisions for you. Those decisions are still yours. But as long as you bear that in mind, import them as grayscales. Uh, DWG drawing should work fine as well. And take the system, have a play with it. Any feedback, it is a new system. So if there's any feedback coming through, we would love to hear from you. And um, I hope you enjoyed. So we'll, we'll put this out as a sort of a test program for now with this film. And then as it refines itself over the next period of time, eventually it'll become an official release and we'll do a, uh, a proper tutorial on it. But for now, that should be it. Thank you very much.